Well, hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for today's Daily Touchpoint. My name is Scott and we are in 2 Samuel chapter 1. I encourage you to follow along in our daily reading plan. Well, there's so much in life to celebrate and it's important for us to know how to find happiness and smile and, and really rejoice in the good things that God's given us. And while that's true, it's also true for us to learn what it means to lament when life's not going well when we're experiencing pain and loss and grief. You know, we don't need to put on a smile or fake things, but we also need to learn what does it look like to go to God with those things, to lament, to bring that pain and that uh, confusion and the hurt to Him in this prayer of lament. And so we're going to look at that, of what that looks like, and especially through the life of David right here in 2 Samuel 1. Now, David just hears the news that Saul and Jonathan have been killed. And so he's absolutely crushed and devastated. And so it says here in verse 11 that David and all his men with him, they took hold of their clothes and they tore them. They mourned and wept and fasted till evening for Saul and his son Jonathan and for the army of the Lord and for the nation of Israel because they had fallen by the sword. So their response is just mourning and weeping, praying and fasting. And then it says in verse 17, David took, a pot, took up this lament concerning Saul and his son Jonathan, and he ordered that the people of Judah be taught this lament. So what is lament, and why is it important for us to learn how to lament and when to lament? Lament is, is really coming to God when it's so easy to run away, when it's so easy to get hardened and avoid. Lament is taking the pain that we feel taking the questions, the complaints, and coming right to God with those things, to come as we are in an authentic and real way. And lament is a beautiful picture. We see a third uh, of the Psalms are are prayers of lament. And so much in the scripture of God's people coming to God in their pain. And so we're called, as as the scripture says, to rejoice always and to, to be thankful and to celebrate, but we're also called as well to come to God as we are, broken, in need. And it says in, in Matthew 4, 5, 4, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. And so sometimes the best response is for us to come as we are and, and lament in, in a season where the lights go out and we feel like we just need to come to him in our time of need. So let's pray. Well, Father, we, we ask that you would teach us what it looks like to lament in seasons where we're confused, in seasons where it's dark and we're in pain and grief. God, we we think of so many right now in Ukraine who are lamenting, crying out to you, Lord. And I pray that you would meet with them, Lord, in a way that only you can. Comfort them, Lord. Be with them and sit with them, Lord, in that pain. And we thank you, Lord, that you're a God who can handle it. You're a God who wants us to come to you with our cries, wants us to come to you with our tears and our our crying out to you, Lord. And we thank you that you're a God who's with us. We thank you, Jesus, that you entered in. So I pray you would teach our church family in this season as well, Lord, that for those who are mourning, for those who who are going through hard things, teach us how to lament. Teach us how to come to you, Lord, and protect us, Lord, from our being so prone to wander, prone to avoid and to... Um, hide as, and as well as prone to fake it. Lord, we don't want to fake things as well. We want to be real and authentic before you and others. And so, God, we thank you so much for this day and that you're with us. In Jesus' name, amen.